My name is Peter Hyam and I've been a member of Yellows for two years now. This week on the telly I watch loads of things. First of all I watch The White Queen because I'm obsessed with history and especially English history and how we come to be and where we are now and how we got there. And The White Queen was interesting because it contained Richard the Third. Well, I've never ever sort of seen a lot of Richard the Third. I mean I've saw the Shakespeare with Lance Olivier playing them and in them the Shakespeare he plays him as this creepy you know, evil, grotesque figure with a hunchback. But in Richard III, he isn't portrayed like that. He's portrayed as just a very ambitious boy who wants what's best for him and his, you know, his wife and his young daughter, which is quite interesting. And that's sort of, and then it was also containing a lot of other interesting characters, like sort of the very young Henry Tudor, who went on to be King Henry VII, King Henry VIII's dad, and a lot of other people who were very manipulative characters who History, you don't see a lot of them in history, which was quite interesting to see a lot of these characters who aren't really brought up a lot, like especially Jasper Tudor, who was sort of the king, the future King Henry VII's almost minder in a way, and it was interesting to see a lot of these characters that history doesn't bring up a lot because they're classed as unimportant, because even though they're minor, they play a very pivotal role in how we come to the succession of the Tudor dynasty and, you know, the future line of kings that are now on, on the throne. And that sort of led me into trying to find out a bit more about Richard III and who was he and, you know, why did he want the throne and why was he such conceived as this evil, miser character. And then there was a documentary on the iPlayer called Richard III, the King of the Car Park, in which a group of architects spearheaded by a woman who was head of the King Richard III Society, which is quite bizarre because I didn't know there was a King Richard III Society. I embarked on a project to try and find him because they believed he was in the car park in, Le in Leicestershire. And they did, they found him and he was, a, he was in the car park, it was actually him, not just a random body, it was him. And they took it and they analysed it. And they found out that after all a myth surrounding Richard the Third that he was a hunchback after all. It wasn't just a character because everyone the big myth was that Olivier created this, it wasn't. It was just that he did have a hunchback. But he was but he was they perceived him as being more of a they analysed his face because now they have modern technology and they can, they recreated his face and it, it he looked entirely different to what we know him as. Because I think the last portrait was about fifteen 1456 or something made him look very, very old, but in this he was quite a young man and he looked totally different to the way that we know him as.